Hi, this is Anne from DuckTapeAndDenim.com, and today we are going to be making vintage clothespin angel Christmas ornaments. We have been selling these angel wings for a little while. I know some of y'all have already bought some, and some of you have already made some angel ornaments like this. But I want to show you what our new ones look like. These are the ones we've been selling, and I like them because they have kind of a mottled look. Well, we just had more cut, and look at them. They are more, they have a more galvanized tin look. And look, they have holes in them, which I am really excited about because this first one that I made, I hate to even show you the back because it's kind of <laughs> not very professional. I just made up a way to make a little loop on the back because there was no loop in it before. So now, the new ones are gonna have a loop on them. We sell these in our online shop. You can go to ducttapeanddenim.com slash shop. And we have these in our shop and we have the rusty wire in our shop. So, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to make these a couple of different ways. As you can tell, I did the first one with wire. I'm thinking about trying one with jute. I'm gonna tack it down with hot glue. This is not really a necessary step but it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to hold everything with just two hands I've tried to do them before and just hold everything together while I wrap the wire around it and then you know the legs will end up sideways or the wings are crooked so it was just easier to put a little hot glue like right in there okay already that's pretty cute I mean you could just hang it like that put a string through there and hang it. It's already really cute. Oh, you know what I should have done first? I should have drilled it first, but I think I can still do that. So this is my Dremel that I use all the time. It sits out on my desk all the time and it stays charged. It's, this thing has stayed charged a long time. I really don't use it a lot, but um, I haven't charged it since we moved in January. So, okay, I'm gonna make some noise for just a minute. So hold on. I'm gonna drill a hole. It's like surgery in the back of the angel's head. I'm making a little mess here. Okay, so I've got a little tiny hole right there. Can you see that? I'm gonna take wire. Trim it. I don't, Y'all, I don't ever measure anything. And then I'm gonna get, then I'm gonna get a marker. I'm, I'm using a Sharpie because that's just what I have here and wrap it around till I make a little circle like that. Let me show you like that. And I'm gonna twist the end over. Well, first, you know what I'm gonna do to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna make this part go straight out we appreciate y'all sharing our videos too. Thanks for those of you who are sharing and liking and commenting. That really helps. I'm gonna just twist the end of the wire around. And then I'm gonna make it go on a right angle so that the halo is at a right angle to the wire like that. Now that's probably going to be too, oh, oh. that's going to be way too long. <laughs> so I'm going to trim it off and I'm going to go a little longer than I think at first because, okay, that's still a little long. Because you can always cut more off, but you can't add more to it. I'm going to cut just a tiny bit more off. All right, I think that one's going to work right there, that length. So I'm going to put a little glue in there. And you could use um, E6000. In fact, I could, that would probably be a better glue for this because it's more permanent. It's not going to pop off like you just saw mine just did. So 
there's my halo on my angel. Just with wire, drilled a little hole, put some glue in there so it won't move. Now I'm gonna peel the hot glue off of there. See, basically the hot glue is just like to tack it down while I wrap my jute around it. All right, so it's tacked down again. If you wanted to just use it like this, you should probably use E6000 on there. It's not gonna dry as fast, but it will be permanent. Since we already have wire on the halo, that kind of makes sense, a little more. Although this one has wire and it's hung with jute, we'll see. Oops, here's my string here. So I am going to start wrapping. And see, because I glued it, it's staying and I'm not trying to balance it with just my fingers. So I'm going to make an X across the body, slide it down, and then behind the back of the right wing, over the body of the angel, behind the body, uh, behind the left wing, and then do it again. And I think, I think that's probably gonna be enough. And then tighten it up. All right, I think that's gonna be good. I'm gonna tie it at the back. You could just glue it down, but I want to make sure that it doesn't, these are going to be for sale, so I want to make sure that everything is super tight and it's not going to fall apart. I'm always a lot more careful with the stuff that I sell than with the stuff that I keep for myself, so. I guess I shouldn't be, but I should always be that careful. But, you know, sometimes if I'm just making it for myself, I do it the fast way instead of the best way. <laughs> All right. So there it is. That was pretty easy, huh? Now we just got to put something in here to hang it. I don't think the jute is going to go through this little hole. Although, oh, you know what? It might. It probably would have before I... Put my angel on there. Ooh, where's my where's my tweezers? If I can get it in there, I don't have tweezers, but I have little tiny pliers. Oh, look at that! Oops, that was too short. <laughs> I pulled the wrong string through it. And look, it was the hole was wide enough for the jute to go through. In our online shop, we sell the wings and the clothespins and the wire. You have to supply your own string, glue, scissors, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. All right, so there's number one. Now I'm gonna try one with, with uh, wire. Take off some wire. Yeah, this one already popped off. That glue already popped off. So yeah, I should probably. Use E6000, so. Listen to what I say, not what I do. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that is not. Why is it not working on this one? And it worked pretty good on the other one. So let's see if I can balance it in my hand. I've got a feeling, see, that's what I was talking about. The angel, the angel tends to just kind of go all over the place when it's not tacked down, but. And then you're doing the same thing with the wire, just across the body and around the back of the wings. Trying to get it as close together as you can. 
and then turn it over and wrap the ends together. And then I'll trim off the extra because I don't need the hanger anymore. And if, if I had the wings that didn't have the hole, I used this extra to make the hanger on the back, but I don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna trim it off. And then you gotta put this, turn that so it's not, it won't poke anybody if they pick it up. Great. I think it did work after all. I'm gonna use my pliers to get the wires to go closer together. Not exactly what I wanted it to look look like, but I think if I worked with it a little bit, it might be okay. All right, that is our project for the for the day. I will come back and put the links into where you can get all these products in our shop. Again, thanks for liking, commenting, sharing our videos. We appreciate that. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.